guys, Christo Garcia, My Swing Evolution. I'm so happy to be back, but I just had the most amazing vacation in Florida, swimming at the beach with my girls and just having so much fun. And every year I do an MSC intensive at my alma mater, The Claw, in Tampa Bay. And I had a group of the finest golfers. Oh my gosh, it's always so much fun. Everybody was wonderful. And we had golfers from, you know, a level where, you know, guys are shooting under par and prepping for tournaments. And, you know, some folks who were really trying to drill down on their fundamentals, which is important for every golfer. But I became friends with one particular golfer named Moses. And nice. he's a former Beauty. professional soccer player. And he wanted to be able to hit the ball a little bit farther. And we picked up about five miles an hour of club head speed. And I was asking him to do some other things because I'm like, you should be swinging in the 120s. You know, he's just so athletic with a great build and frame. And he's like, I know what to do, but I can't get my body to do it. Now, this is a very peculiar thing about the game of golf. Now, I would say only about 5% of golfers naturally pick up the game and don't have to do any funky compensations to try and hit the ball. And they usually come from other stick sports like baseball or hockey, where they just have those mechanics and space built into their golf swing. For, for most of us mortals, we have to try and overcome these problems. In fact, I'm going through some swing changes right now to try and make it to the next level. A couple of weeks ago, I started implementing some big changes and I've got to stick with it. You know, it's a little funky, but if I'm going to get to the next level, I, I have to make sure that I've got these problems licked. I've made it about, you know, three levels past where I originally even tried to make it to with my swing evolution. But the thing is, you know, you have to have faith in the process. And so I'm starting all over again. So I'd like to share with you a section from my new My Swing Evolution golf system that tells you about how I battled early extension in the golf swing. And I think this is really good stuff because Tiger Woods is even talking about this hip depth in his golf swing, which is super duper cool. If you don't have it, you need to get it. And here's how I worked on it myself during the course of my swing evolution. One of the most important things I did in my swing rebuild was I had to reprogram my internal GPS. I was an early extender. I had a bad setup position, my center of gravity was too close to the ball, and my weight shift wasn't doing me any favors either. This is why I ended up early extending. But this is a solvable problem, and we're going to attack it by keeping our center of gravity deep, our hips deep, and working into our heels as we swing the golf club. One of the biggest problems I had was I didn't understand why I would early extend. My center of gravity is the most important element I'm gonna control in my golf swing. If it moves close to the ball, I'm in trouble. So we want to keep our hips deep. This is where our center of gravity is going to be located. So we need to train our internal GPS to keep our hips backwards. As we make our transition, we're gonna do the sit move, and we're going to press our hips backwards, weight through our heels, almost like we're screwing down into the ground. This is gonna to help to keep our hips deep, and it's gonna help you to hit the ball much more solid. Guys, here I am on the range just warming up, and I always have to remind myself to get my hips deep. This is something I will probably have to do for the rest of my life because that's my natural habit is to move my center of gravity closer to the ball. So this is what we call the chair position in yoga. I've been stretching a lot, but you can see here how deep my center of gravity is in relation to my heels. I want to be able to hold that and get accustomed to it. So I believe you should overdo it in the beginning until you can really ingrain a new feeling. Hey guys, I'm gonna give you a quick tip about early extension. One of the problems I had with early extension 
was I didn't get my hips out in front of me. I didn't let my lower body get ahead of me. If, if it stays underneath you, you don't have enough room for your hips to even turn because you get all scrunched up. So you have to have a lower body move to your left side before the hips open up. Otherwise, you're just gonna squish yourself and you're not gonna be able to stop early extension. Hello and welcome to the My Swing Evolution Golf System. My name is Christo Garcia, the founder of My Swing Evolution. After millions of golfers watched me rebuild my golf swing on YouTube, I wanted to create this system to pass along the most important lessons that I learned along my journey. When I finally decided to rebuild my golf swing, I found it really, really confusing because of the amount of information that's out there on the web, in the magazines, and on TV. But I was able to figure out a common sense approach to rebuild my golf swing. It worked for me, it works for my students, and I'm convinced it'll work for you as well. So let's get started.